In 2003, Elon Musk and Harold Rosen, the engineer who invented the geostationary satellite, had lunch at a seafood restaurant near SpaceX headquarters in LA. Harold brought along Jeffrey Brian Straubel, better known as J.B. Straubel. Together, they tried to convince Elon to build an electric plane. Elon wasn't interested, but then the conversation turned to electric cars. JB had spent his time at Stanford building and racing solar-powered cars that relied on lithium-ion batteries. He wondered what would happen if he packed thousands of them together. He believed he was onto something big. No one saw the potential except Elon, who, having made a fortune when his X.com merged with PayPal, which was bought by eBay, offered JB $10,000 to support his side project of building an electric car. If we hadn't had lunch in 2003, Tesla wouldn't, wouldn't exist, basically. JB introduced Elon to his friends at AC Propulsion, who had built the T0. Elon fell in love with the electric sports car that could go zero to 60 in under five seconds. He felt it could change people's perceptions of EVs, which were seen as uninteresting at the time. Despite Elon's offer to fund commercializing the vehicle, the AC Propulsion guys weren't interested. Prompting JB to recall in Ashley Vance's biography on Elon Musk, they were sort of hopeless at business and refused to do it. So Elon set out to build his own T0. AC Propulsion's head Tom Gage mentioned there were three other engineers who were interested in building an electric car. Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening incorporated Tesla Motors in 2003. Ian Wright joined a few months later. Elon invested six and a half million in Tesla initially and became the largest shareholder and chairman of the company's board. Not long after Elon joined Tesla, he hired JB as an engineer for $95,000 a year. He has said the worst decision of his career was to get involved with so many partners and not start Tesla with just JB. Elon respected JB for his immense engineering talent, which he honed as a kid growing up in Wisconsin. When JB was 13, he hauled home an old golf cart from the dump and got it working again by rebuilding the electric motor. A lab accident in high school left a two-inch scar on his left cheek. He once converted his Porsche into an electric vehicle. At Tesla, the most complicated task was building the battery pack. So we've spent the majority of our engineering resources on how to make a battery pack work well, be uh, long-lived, and provide this kind of range and acceleration in an automotive environment at a cost that's competitive with vehicles around the road today. The innovation came with significant challenges. The batteries could explode if they got too hot. If a single cell overheated, it could cause a domino effect, triggering neighboring cells to overheat, potentially sparking a fire. After working on the problem for months, he and his team engineered a sophisticated thermal management system designed to keep the battery pack within a safe temperature range. They also developed software to monitor the state of each cell in the battery pack to detect any sign of a problem. JB was the most important member of the technical team and got promoted to chief technology officer a year later. In addition to his engineering prowess, JB had another invaluable skill. He was the calm mediator between Elon and the rest of Tesla's employees, the go-to person to pass along messages to the team. In a conversation with Ashley Vance, JB confided, Elon is incredibly difficult to work for, but it's mostly because he's so passionate. It seems like people can get afraid of him and paralyzed in a weird way. I try to help everyone to understand what his goals and visions are. <laughs> JB happily worked in the shadows, never seeking the limelight. All he cared about was pushing the electric vehicle revolution forward. So I think five, 10 years from today, we're going to see an even more rapid shift than people are predicting uh, toward all electric vehicles. But the journey was far from smooth. Tesla's first car, the Roadster, which featured about 7,000 battery cells packed together, went way over budget and fell behind schedule. The company nearly went bankrupt in 2008. After barely squeaking by, Tesla set its sights on its next challenge, a luxury sedan. JB advocated for integrating charging capabilities into the Model S. This was prior to the supercharger network being fully developed. He favored this approach over battery swapping, which Elon seriously considered. He even promoted it at an event in 2013, demonstrating that it took less time to swap out a battery than to put a tank of gas in a conventional car. I mean However, battery swapping was not the best option, given the high cost of building battery swapping stations and the technical complexity. The supercharger network has proved to be the right strategy, offering Tesla a huge competitive advantage. Tesla has now opened up its charging network for other automakers to use. JB's influence at Tesla wasn't limited to integrating batteries into cars. He transformed Tesla into a mass market car maker. 
He spearheaded the construction and operation of Tesla's first mega battery factory, Gigafactory Nevada, aimed at boosting battery production for the Model 3. Well, right. we can fit about 100 747s parked in the footprint of this building. Not only that, we can fit 50 billion hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Teslas go much further than many other electric cars, thanks to its high-powered battery tech. In 2019, JB stepped down as Chief Technology Officer and transitioned to an advisory role, handing over the reins to his protege, Drew Baglino. I'd like to thank JB for his fundamental role in creating and, and building Tesla. Thank you, JB. Thanks, Elon. It's been uh, quite an adventure of 16 years. When he reflected on his departure, Straubel said, it has been a really tough decision because I feel like I'm letting a lot of people down. But also, you have to live life. He was raising young twin boys with his wife, Brianna, whom he met at Tesla when she worked in human resources. But tragedy would strike his family. On the morning of June 19, 2021, Brianna was biking in the cycling lane on a rural Nevada road when a car traveling in the opposite direction crossed over to her side of the road and struck her, killing her. She was 38 years old. Boryana was an advocate of environmental sustainability and founded a jewelry company that used recycled materials for its designs. JB has continued to honor his wife's legacy through his work on sustainability. After leaving Tesla, he launched Redwood Materials, a startup that recycles lithium ion batteries, including scrap from the Gigafactory, to create new battery materials. The mission is not only to avoid waste, but to disrupt traditional mining by recycling elements like nickel, cobalt, and lithium for use for automakers. This could lower EV prices by reducing the cost of battery packs, one of the most expensive components in an electric car. JB was the heart of Tesla from the onset, the steady hand behind the larger-than-life CEO. And now, he's back. JB rejoined Tesla as a member of its board of directors in the spring of 2023. It'll be interesting to see what else he has to offer Tesla and the entire EV industry in the years ahead. J.P. Straubel's talent as an engineer has helped revolutionize the electric car industry. If you're inspired by a story and want to foster your skills in STEM, Brilliant is a fantastic resource that helps improve your math, data science, and computer science skills. I've been using Brilliant for the past two years, and what I really appreciate is that you can learn in a fun and interactive way. For instance, Brilliant's Thinking in Code course guides you in creating a Maps app navigation, transforming abstract lines of code into practical step-by-step -step directions. There are thousands of lessons, from the basics to more advanced topics. You can try Brilliant for free for 30 days by signing up with my custom link in the description, brilliant.org slash newsthink. And the first 200 people who sign up using my custom link will get 20% off their premium annual subscription, which gives you full access to their entire offering. Thanks for watching. I'm Cindy Palm.